Welcome back. Today we are going to start something different. It is the Simmers Squad 30 Day Challenge and they have stuff for both create a sim and for uh, build mode. So I am going to include both the of these challenges on each video. So this is the day one video so it's going to include making a sim self and also doing the solid color challenge. So that is what we are doing today. I will link their Twitter, which has the challenge in the description. And as you've probably noticed, I already have a sim self, but I didn't really spend a lot of time on her. I just kind of chose some default faces and stuff. So I figured that I would actually try to go more detailed on my sim self. Of course, I'm not sure that it came out looking anything like me, but I did my best. I'm not really a create a sim person. If you watch any of my videos, I usually use styled looks and default sims. So we are, are foraying into something new. Did I even use that word correctly? Anyway, we're trying something new and that's what we're going with. I actually have no idea how to change some of these features. So like, for example, um, the lips, I was trying to make the bottom one bigger, even if, but I couldn't figure out how to just make one of the lips bigger. I, anyway, I don't know how to use create a sim, obviously. Um, but I'm just doing my best here. And we are going to, you know, be paying attention to create a sim for this challenge. It is 30 days worth of a challenge. I'm not going to do them consecutively, but I will be doing them every couple of videos because um, I like to put out a build video at least every five videos or so when I'm doing my Let's Plays. So I am going to, because this has a build in it, be using this as something to break up the Let's Plays as well. So that's what we're doing. That's a plan. And we are in here with my sim self. I am very pale and... Um, I like to wear my hair in braids. My hair is in braids right now, actually. Especially during COVID, I just put it in a couple of French braids and then forget about it. So we are now working on makeup. I do when I wear makeup, which, you know, I feel like this is not going to be accurate in my life right now because with COVID, I just am hanging out without doing anything. But when I do wear makeup, um, I usually for every day just do some like light brown eyeshadow and I only put eyeliner on the top. If you've watched me do any create a sim things in the past you'll know that that's one of my favorites for my sims to wear. So anyway um, we're already in clothing though for the everyday wear and honestly I'm really just digging a t-shirt like a t-shirt and some jeggings is usually what I go with. Um, I do like things that have like patterns or like mesh or lace, just kind of fun little details. So I picked out this shirt because of the cool like shoulders are a different color. And then I picked out pants that I thought were close enough to jeggings um, and then sneakers, always sneakers. So I did try and change the hair for each outfit. I didn't want to just leave it um, the same even though I probably would leave it the same mostly, but um, also I chose this hair color because this is my hair color, my natural hair color, but I do have highlights right now, but I didn't know, I mean, you can't really do that in The Sims, have highlights, so I would have had to just choose a lighter brown, so I just went with my natural hair color and left it at that, and I mean, I'm going to be honest here, I totally forgot about changing the sims body type. I just left it as a default and then later realized that I needed to make some adjustments. I am, like I said, I'm not a create a sim person. I just did the best I could. Yeah, here's where I'm realizing that her body doesn't look like mine at all. Um, so I'm just changing some features. And like I said, I'm not even sure that this looks like me at all, to be honest with you. But we're just winging it. It'll be good. It'll be fine. And I uh, I also wear braids to bed, but I don't usually wear French braids to bed. Usually it's just like little side ones just to keep my hair contained while I sleep. And what else? 
yeah, this whole like making a self sim and recording it is so embarrassing. But we're just gonna pretend like it's not happening and then start to work on the party wear. Um, so for party wear, I imagined more like something I would go out in versus, um, you know, the formal wear or something like nice. Like, so I considered the party wear like something that I would go out with my friends in, you know, before COVID. So I'm just looking through the different options. Honestly, like it's surprising when you try to look for things that are familiar to not really see like I, like some of the stuff I was like oh yeah I totally have something like that in my closet and then the other stuff I just you know I don't know just couldn't come up with a comparison especially with the shoes shoes are tough um but you know we'll just do the best we can I'm sure that people that specialize in create a sim would um make fun of me right now <laughs> but uh everything is good it's all good i honestly don't think my face looks like that at all so we're just doing our best also i try to do the thing where you use your mouse to push and pull the features but it just really doesn't work for me i always end up either overdoing it or like my mouse control is not very graceful but you know it's fine um one piece bathing suit for me and um, then we are going to go into hot weather. And I actually really like this. Like this tank top is definitely something that I would wear. And then I always go with the long shorts in the hot weather. I do not wear short shorts. And then, yeah, like I said, I was just trying out different hairstyles, even if usually I'd probably just I wear my hair in the braids anyway, but you know, this is, this is a self sim. It can be a little different than it would be otherwise. I don't know. Are you supposed to make your self sim like actually like you, or is it supposed to be like a glorified version of you? I'm not really sure. I tried to make it as much like me as possible. Like, I feel like these are the type of things I would wear. So I don't know. We're just winging it. Here's some screenshots of my self sim. Um, she is wearing sparkly dress, tank, and some sweats. But yeah, so, I mean, honestly, I think I'm just pretty average. I don't think I'm very special at all. So, um, she's, she's your average, average girl. She likes to play The Sims. Oh, I forgot about the traits. I think I gave her, okay, let me think. I gave her the computer whiz aspiration. Um, I do work in technology, and um, then I gave her creative, squeamish, and cheerful. So I guess that's how I would describe myself. I tried to give my, I tried to give her like one, at least one negative trait because I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I'm great. So um, squeamish is what I went with, and now we are working on the house. So. The way that I'm going to do this challenge is I am going to associate the create a sim and build challenges with each other. So uh, it's the one color challenge and I picked blue because blue is my favorite color and it's my self sim that is going to live here. And so I am just, um, you know, making this as if it was my house for my self sim. So like next time when we do a different sim we're going to do the build with them in mind so this is a house for one sim and it's going to be a two bedroom one and a half bath even though the second bedroom is going to be converted into a gym so that's what I'm going with I wouldn't consider myself active like I didn't give her the active trait but I do like to work out and I do consider myself pretty strong you know more than average I used to be on the swim team when I was younger so I am pretty proud of my arm muscles and I am just trying to keep in mind the blue theme that was pretty tough I think at one point I forgot and had to go back and fix something that wasn't blue so we are going to do this I did grab a quick floor plan online because I started this and then realized that I didn't know what the plan was like I hadn't come up with anything before I started this so I 
just kind of quickly took a peek at some options and then created a floor plan out of that. So there is two floors and uh, so the two bedrooms each have a doorway into the bathroom. So I get, what's that called? Like a Jack and Jill bathroom? Anyway, um, so that's what we're going with. Again, I am filtering by color, which is super helpful in this challenge. And the half bath is going to be on the first floor, right there by the door. And I'm trying to think about windows. I don't know why I couldn't put a window there. I think it was because of the door, which is dumb. But um, we are going to use these windows from, is it get to work? I forget, and it's kind of small on my screen, so I can't really see the, the little, um, what's it called? Also, the windows don't line up because of the platform. Um, anyway, I am not the kind of simmer that knows what everything is from, so we're just winging it. And we're almost done going around here with the windows. Here we go. Now we're going to do the roof, and I am not particularly good at roofing. But we're winging it. I should stop saying that because it's going to get annoying. Um, yeah, so we are just putting in the roof pieces now. It was a little bit of a struggle because I wanted this piece to um, go right up to that piece. But then I realized in the back that it, you can see the edges of it. And I hate that. So we do end up having to change that a little bit. But... We are now just painting the walls. You can see I've noticed the roof being weird. So I wanted that roof piece to go all the way across, but I couldn't figure out how to do that without exposing the side of it on the other side there. So I just decided to pull that roof piece all the way across. And here we go around the house with some trim and then some shrubbery. I didn't know if I could use terrain tools in this. So I just didn't, I didn't know if what the, I didn't really look up the rules that much. Also, because of the time of year, all my plants look dead and not blue. So anyway, it's fine. And I decided not to go with the roof decoration. And then we are going to move inside to the wallpaper. And there are, there are actually a lot of blue options. So I did pick a, a relatively easy color here to work with. Also, I don't know what that was. But um, I did pick a relatively easy color to work with. I wasn't really interested in making my life too hard for my first time doing this challenge. Um, but yeah, I think that it's fun to do some challenges. I think they're going to be hard for me because usually I just do whatever I want or I make a house with a sim in mind. And well, I think it is good that they're giving um, you know, you direction with the sims. Like, one of the days is going to be make a starter home. I have never made a starter home in my life. <laughs> so, um, that'll be interesting for me to try out. It'll be good. I'm excited about it. This is not a starter home. I did give her more money in just a second here. But, yeah. I think that it turned out pretty good. And... I think I'm going to have fun doing this challenge. It is not easy, but I am going to take it on. I think this house kind of came out ugly because that's what happens when a house is all one color. Although maybe it wouldn't. I wonder if anybody's done like white. I feel like white would be a good color to do a house. Then it wouldn't be so ugly. Because the, the blues don't match. Like I'm trying to get blues that sort of match, but they just don't. They just don't match. But you know. We're winging it. Oh, I know I said I wasn't going to say that again. I'm going to try really hard not to say that again. Anyway, we are moving on to the bathrooms. And this is just a half bath, so it's not going to be too exciting. I'm going to put in some decorations and the um, like a little um, towel and stuff. But the toilet paper dis um, dispenser... <laughs> The toilet paper roll thing is not blue, so that's where we're at. And then um, I did like, I like the whale's curtain. Honestly, like for me personally, if I was making 
a, if I was, you know, having my own house, I would definitely do weird stuff like have the whale shower curtain. I consider my taste like very mishmashy because I'm the type of person to not like my mugs, none of them match. I got them all separately. They all look totally different. There's no set. It's just whatever piqued my interest at the time. So that's probably why so many of my sim houses end up looking like disasters. Anyway, um, this is the part where I added this makeup tray and it just does not, it does not match. It's not blue. Um, we're going to come back and fix that in a second. Also, I'm trying the thing where you move the counter and then try to move things, but honestly, I'm not very good at it. But you know what? This challenge is going to get me better at both create a sim and building, I think. That'll be good. That'll be fun. I'm going to stop being self-deprecating and continue to work on this build. So in goes uh, the bedroom with um, a closet and um, honestly, I forget what I put in here. Mirror, some pictures. I do like those pictures. Um, I have in my room right now just a whole wall full of um, art. It's just very eclectic, I guess. Just a bunch of random pieces that I like all put up. So that's what we're going to do there. And then we're going to come downstairs into, this is the dining room, it's just a table. And then we are going to do a little desk over by that window behind the staircase. And I'm not really sure how blue that flag is, but it's got, it's blue. It's a third blue at least. So we're going to wait. Uh, I said I wasn't going to say that. We're going to roll with it. And I do like this carpet. Actually, I think one of the good things about this challenge is that it is exposing some of the interesting swatches that I never use. So I feel like I, I usually use default swatches and that's not um, really the way that you should go all the time. But it's just easier to see the defaults and I don't really cycle through them very much so I think that that's something I have to get better at is looking at the different swatches of things so here we are I didn't want to make the desk outwards because I didn't want it to like stick out of that little alcove but then we are going to put some stuff in this entryway just a little like seating area and then a bookshelf. You want a bookshelf near the desk anyway. I was thinking about what to put in this landing area and honestly I didn't have any good ideas. It's kind of an awkward space. But I'm just setting up a little gym area with two workout machines. Oh, if I could have a workout machine at my house I would love that so much. Um, not going to the gym during COVID has killed me, seriously. But, you know, it's what you got to live with. So I'm putting a bookshelf up here, a little carpet, some curtains. Honestly, those big curtains probably would have gone better in the bedroom because I do have blackout curtains in my bedroom. And then a swing set because why not? I was thinking about maybe doing a pool, but then... I don't know. Honestly, I was building this and then dinner was ready and I was hungry. So we called it good. Um, so yeah, here are the screenshots. The rooms are a little small, so it is kind of hard. There's myself, Sim, cooking some food. That's the first thing she did when she got inside, which is not surprising to me. Um, and yeah, so I think it came out pretty good. The blues don't match, but it was a fun exercise. And... I am looking forward to continuing to do more days of this, and I think it'll be fun. So that's all for today, and I will catch you guys next time.